Ryan Sibati, I work as a formulation scientist um, in pharmaceutical sciences at Pfizer. So I help formulate drugs for early discovery projects. Um, for example, I currently work on pain and anti-infective uh, therapeutic areas and we help formulate drugs uh, up to uh, first in human, so when the drugs go into clinical trials. I did really enjoy school, a lot of it was spent sort of um, in, the, in the labs, especially science-wise, I really, really enjoyed science. Um, again, mainly chemistry and biology, uh, really enjoyed the practical work and also a lot of the theory, but for me just really getting really deep into the, into the practical, um, cutting up you know, bits of pig's heart and, and, and little bits of animal and so on. I really enjoyed that, whereas a lot of people were quite squeamish and I really wanted to get involved and my father used to be a nurse and so every time when I was younger, I used to come home and I used to ask him all sorts of gruesome questions and he used to just sort of look at me, shake his head and think it's not as simple as that, just cutting people up. But I really enjoyed the sort of science side of things, biology and chemistry mainly. I had been sp spoken to my friends and they were saying to me, oh, I've graduated from this, from this university, I've got this degree. They were going in different career paths and I thought, just because I've got a degree in biochemistry, does that mean I have to be involved in the sciences? And for me, the turning point was I used to work at Boots um, Contract Manufacturing in Nottingham. And I worked there, got paid weekly, and I really enjoyed it. And for me, that was my first proper job. And um, it gave me the experience, and, to, and I'm very grateful for what I had there, and it got me here today. The journey to now hasn't been the easiest in the sense of when I graduated and had my job at Boots, I was made redundant because of a takeover. Um, and these, th as these things sadly do happen. Um, then I worked at a company, AstraZeneca, in Loughborough for around 11 months. Then I took the big step of actually moving out of my mum and dad's house. And for me, that was a large step as well, moving to Kent, brand new place for me. And I ended up working at Pfizer as a temporary worker. Um, and then I managed to get the job in my current team research formulation um, as a permanent member of staff. So it wasn't the easiest, but it's definitely been worth it, all the moving around and so on, it's definitely been worth it. My life outside the working environment uh, mainly consists of playing a hell of a lot of football. I watch football, eat, drink, sleep football to be honest. I also like to do a little bit of travelling uh, across Britain um, to, because a, a lot of my friends are spread out and I'm pretty much as far away as possible from everyone that I know to be honest with you. Um, and also I do, although it's a bit of a weird hobby, I do talk a lot about Mauritius as my parents are from there and um, spend a lot of time finding a lot of literature for people to go there. In five years time uh, I'd like to uh, be working here preferably in the same department also mentoring people as well so as well as getting involved in the science side and still being around the laboratory uh, I'd really like to be sort of managing people and really helping them because I've, I've, re I've worked for really really good people and um, they've been very helpful I've had, I've had my own responsibilities I've had a sense of freedom and I can still get on with my own job and um, I'd like to be to sort of get some coaching and really get involved in that as well, the managing side. It is what I expected actually being a scientist. Um, I really enjoy putting on the white lab coat and the glasses and pretending to be Albert Einstein, but I really do like walking around and getting involved in the lab work. And it's the job role to me when, I was, when it was explained to me, it's everything I've always imagined. Like I say, I've got my own responsibilities. Um, I'm able to get involved in different projects. Uh, I'll meet really great people and I'm learning a lot as I go along and I never stop learning. Really enjoy it.